So Tara, we were just in a session about early childhood education and science, and you're with Explorer. Tell me a bit about Explorer and what it does in Albuquerque. Explorer is sort of its own sort of institution. Um, it's a combination of a science center and children's museum in some ways. It serves everyone from birth to 101. Um, and our focus is on hands-on, very simple materials. You're actually able to engage with the stuff and have multiple outcomes and multiple interests. Now tell me a bit about the Growing a Scientist project that you've got going now. So Growing a Scientist is our preschool program. It's for ages two through four, and they come with an adult companion. Um, it is a semester-long program, so normally semesters are about nine classes. There, we have a spring and a fall semester. Uh, we've got over 40 classes so we, that we rotate through so the kids can actually come into the program and stay two and a half years without repeating the class. And what do you hope that the kids are going to get out of it in terms of science? Well, it's, mostly, it's for the kids and the parents or caregivers that are bringing them, but teaching them how to investigate, ask questions, try things out. So really it's about the process, not about the content. All right, so they're not going to learn string theory or gravitation or anything? No, but you would, they might pick up something um, along the way um, that relates to one thing or another and how things work. And a lot of times they will go home after we've done something and they'll test them out at home. Um, we did a class on air not too long ago and had big, huge wind tubes that they were flying things in. And one of my kids went home and spent two hours with a fan at home putting things on top of it, trying to get it to fly and testing out things, which is pretty good for a three-year-old. You don't normally expect that sort of behavior. No. In the latter part of the session we were just in, um, a lot of other uh, preschool educators uh, were working with some of the materials that you brought. What did you learn from that? What did you take away from that? There's a, what did I personally take away? There's a lot of questions out there and there's I think a lot of intimidation of doing science with preschoolers and there's not a lot of resources out there. Um, and a lot of times if you find an idea you have to adapt it down to the preschool audience and so for me it's really about showing other people that there is a lot you can do with preschoolers and having those sort of discussions with people. And what would be the main message you deliver to people who aren't, who are in science centers or museums now that aren't delivering programs for preschoolers. How do you get that motivation? Well, you want to start them early. Um, preschool is a toddler is a prime time. They're not afraid to try things out. They want to explore. They haven't been taught that there's supposed to be a right answer or that science may not be cool or you're supposed to be scared of it. Um, so engaging them really early really makes them lifelong learners. I've got seen kids and families that I've seen grow up at Explore and wa watching them come through from basically birth to however old they are now, it's really a lifelong process you're working with. Thank you very much. Thank you.